I'm gonna tell you how to get endorsements. Look, first things first. This may be obvious to some of you, but you have to have something to offer if you're expecting people to give you something for free or at artist pricing. When I say you have something to offer, I mean you either have a lot of followers and you're an influencer on Instagram or Twitter or any of those formats, or you're on TV once a week with that gear that they gave you. Whatever it is, you have to have something to offer them. It's what I like to call a win-win situation. So what I mean when I say win-win mentality is I won't even approach a company about their, say, guitars if I'm not going to be super stoked to play their guitars. That's a very, very important part for me. Now it's a win-win. So I don't want them giving me guitars for free or at artist pricing if they can't benefit from me. It has to be a situation that's benefiting both of us, or at least that's what it is for me. So in the endorsement world, you're gonna find basically two different types of endorsements. The company is either gonna give you something for free, whether it's for a specific amount of time or forever, or you're gonna get something at artist pricing. And what that means is it's gonna be, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80% off of retail. It's up to the specific company. But you're gonna find different companies, whether they're pedal companies or guitar companies or drum companies, or fixed companies, whatever it is, they're gonna work however they feel most comfortable. So if they're interested in working with you, they're either gonna give you something for free or you're gonna get it for artist pricing. Sometimes, and I've had this happen to me, They'll be cool giving you uh, the first one or two items for free, and then they'll give you the rest at artist pricing. Sometimes they even give you artist pricing in general, but one item a year can be free. Sometimes there's also in a situation where you could get an allowance. So what that means is they say, okay, we like you, we wanna work with you. Every year you're gonna get $300 from us to use on any of our gear. Whether you wanna buy something for $500 and you get a $300 credit, or maybe it's some strings, so you can buy $300 worth of strings for the year. Now, once you've established what gear it is you want from them and what you have to offer in return, it's time to contact them. The best way to do this is to talk to a friend of yours who's already endorsed with them and just say, hey, can you introduce me to the guy in charge, the artist relations person, whoever that may be. Now, if you don't have an in, it's time to just open that internet and look it up. Find out who the person is that's in charge of artist relations. If it's a big company, there's one, two, or 10 artist relations people. If it's a small company, the artist relations person might also be the owner. Either way, write the email, be super kind, be super nice, tell them how much you love their gear, let them know what you have to offer them and ask them if it's something that they'd be interested in. Sometimes, and I've had this happen to me, they'll be cool with giving you the first or second item for free and then the rest of them will be at artist pricing. Here's a really important piece of the puzzle. Only take what you're actually gonna use. Years ago, there was a company from Australia and I loved, I had a pedal that I loved from them. So I looked on the internet and figured out how to reach them. I emailed them and said, hey, I love this pedal. Would you be interested in endorsing me? Surprisingly, they were totally down. They had a whole line of pedals that I'd never tried and I was super excited. Then they sent me a contract, which is cool. It doesn't normally happen, but they could do this. And the contract stated, okay, so uh, we're agreeing to work with you and you're gonna work with us for a year and this and this and that and this and this and that, right? So I emailed back and said, that's great, I love the contract, but there's one thing you have to add. You're gonna send me the pedals, and we agree to all of this, but if I don't like the pedals, I'll send them back to you on my dime, and the contract is void. Because I don't wanna end up with stuff that I don't wanna use and I don't wanna promote. So only get the stuff that you're gonna use. Only get the pedals, only get the gear, the amp, the drums, the, the mics, whatever it is only get the stuff you're going to use. There's also one more thing you have to take into account and that's exclusivity. Some companies might ask you to use their gear exclusively. For instance, 
I started working with this guitar company once and they said to me, hey, we're only cool with working with you, but you have to only use our guitars for electric and acoustic and nylon string, which wasn't cool with me. So I politely and kindly declined the offer, thanked them so much and we're still in touch, but that was a little too much for me. But for you, it might be perfect. The point is, make sure you understand what kind of agreement you're getting into, if it's exclusive or non-exclusive. I hope this gave you an idea of how to get endorsements and what it takes. Leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe. Just hit me up with anything you want to know. <laughs> I like that, I like that. And also that the best way to start is get a million dollars. Okay.